Hello, planner babes. This is Re with Cute Nanny Things here again with a planner flip through. I created this planner. Somebody had ordered one. It's one of my first A5 planners, and I'm going to say um, I love the room that it gives you to put all kinds of stuff in it. So, um, inspiration for this planner came from the Planner Society kit um, for their. Um, I believe it was the September line and I used a lot of that in here as well as some of the digital dash um, from Planner Press. Um, as you can see, it has the beautiful fox patch that came with that September kit. I actually had to go search for it because I had it on my planner and the person who ordered this loved it so much. So I went on a hunt for this little baby patch and I finally found it. So I'm excited that I was able to incorporate that into her planner. So as you can see, this is a recollection planner. Lots of glare on this. <laughs> so it is a little bit shiny. Well, it is shiny black and that baby pink. Um, got this at Michael's and I love it but man you got to keep wiping it because all the fingerprints but it's beautiful I wanted an all black one um, but this was the only one in this size that came um, in black and it had to have that sh it had that shininess to it um, and I haven't seen any like that with the recollections ones um, so let's open her up so as you can see here, lots of stuff going. Um, I do have the theme of the fox and it came with this beautiful fox paper clip. So I actually got that in my find as well. I did incorporate some of those papers that came from the kit from Planner Society. I made this cool little tool bow. This has been my thing. Oh my gosh, I've been so in love with bows. So I wanted to get her one for her planner put that in there. And then also um, the cute little fox posted notes. I just kind of stuck it in there and put a little bit over the edge. These are some paper clip embellishments I made using some fabric um, washi. Um, and I just kind of covered a paper clip and hung it from a different one and added some pearls to the end. I thought it was super cute. Um, and then of course I used some bow acetate with that red paper from Planner Society. Beautiful paper than that kit. And then had a little die cut there that says collect beautiful moments. And then this doily came from the October Planner Society kit. So kind of incorporating all of that. I love their kits because it gives you a whole box to create different things and be able to gift it to somebody else. I put a die cut of their bow in there. This came from the digital press. It was a, um, you know, you, it was a die cut and they had it where you could resize, resize it to whatever you want and then laminate it and turn it into a pocket. So in here, I just have some journaling cards and as you can see, it opens up. It's really cool. I put some holes in it so it can be in there. And then I got some journal, journal, journaling cards for, I don't know why I couldn't say that, that I've been stashing. I want to go ahead and gift those so that she can write some stuff on the back and then punch some holes and just put it right back in her planner. So I love journaling cards for that. That way you can write down any memories you have for your week and then you could just go ahead and add that to your weekly spread. Um, I did want to make her a shaker card. I didn't have any A5 stuff, so I mostly do planners in the um, kind of like in the personal size kind of notebooks and, and TNs. So a lot of my stuff is not sized for the A5 planner. So what I did with this one is I took the Happy Planner um, little clear sleeves and I went ahead and made shaker uh, boxes and I used my fuse tool to fuse them together just to give some cute little added stuff to there. Put some uh, little cards in here and she can replace those with pictures. And I just used some um, cardstock and covered it with the washi and punched my holes in it. And now there's a little place in there for just some, you know, more character for the planner. 
And then this is the, I guess the A5 came with a whole like year spread that you can fill out that kind of folds up. And then I put this cool little um, clear um, lamination paper and I put some vinyl on there with her name and then a tab just so you can have it to, um, you know, turn the page. I had some cool little cherry blossom dyes that came from Daiso and she loves cherry blossoms. So I thought it'd be cool to laminate some and then use it as a dashboard in her planner. And I think it looks really cool with her name on the top. And then you have that on the back. And then going into the calendar portion, um, I purchased this pack from Michaels. I usually do this um, so that I can save on printing. And then also it comes with these cool dashboards. I love the A5. This one was like a rose gold kind of marble theme. And I think it looks super awesome on the inside where it says notes and thoughts goes into the calendar. And then it has the days of the week. Really big boxes. Um, this is a huge planner. I think it would be too big for me. But I love the room it gives you to create a spread. Um, I think it would be really nice. And then over here is the today tab that I have. Of course, I made it to where you can take it in and out. Put some die cuts with a clear pocket from the Target dollar spot. And then these little tabs came from the Planner Society as well, laminated that and put it on top of the dashboard. And it says today. So the, of course, this is her whole monthly. I think it's beautiful the way they did this with that rose gold. I love the way the dividers look and I have all the months in here. Look how beautiful that is. So I think that kind of goes good with the theme with the pink and the black. So let's go ahead and skip to the end. So at the back of the planner, I have more Planner Society kit paper, doily and die cut, and it says notes, and that's to separate the to-do list. Then I created this out of the um, vellum that they came in the kit, put a little clear pocket with some washi samples there, and then added a tab, also comes with a kit. I'm telling you, these Planner Society kits, if you love to create, I mean, it doesn't even have to be for you, but I love to help my friends start planning in planners. And the Planner Society Kit comes with so much stuff that you can incorporate into different planners. And I love that. So it gives me time to customize some cute planners for people so they can start planning. Got some lined paper and some graph paper. And this all comes with this recollection planner um, when you purchase it. I just had to add the monthly kit to it. And then this divider came in there as well. I love to put a hard divider on anything with ring bound because as you can see, it is kind of bowing and that kind of protects the paper here. So still lots of room for her to add more things, customize it, but this is a thick baby. And then over here, of course, there's a pen loop. I did put like a little clip that says plan. And then here I made her more like a bookmark with that awesome gold scallop and bow. And then it has all the cherry blossoms on there. So put that in there. And you know, this, this planner has got so much room. You could probably put a little notebook in there um, and have a little note section here. But this is a huge planner. Not sure if I would personally use it, but I had so much fun making this one. I love the reds, the pinks, the golds, um, really came out really nice, but that's the flip through and I'm going to go ahead, close this up and ship it to her. Probably by the time this video is posted, um, she will get it because I don't like to post a video until they receive their planners. And that way they get that first look at it and not having to wait for it to come in the mail. But thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm going to call this one the little pink fox. And that's it. Thank you so much. Bye.